Genesis chapter 1 verse 11. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. So the evening and the morning were the third day. So on the third day, it looks like God was making the trees, the vegetables, the plants, the flowers, all that stuff, right? He was making all of that stuff. This is very interesting. On the third day, it looks like the third day, because it says third day, or maybe I'm wrong, on the second day. Um, I'm not sh sure, maybe I should read the whole thing, but Let's pretend it's on the third day that he made the trees and the flowers and everything else. You see, God, he's beyond perfection. Um, why am I saying these things? Um, I'm not even near my point, but you see, um, God made flowers, plants, everything that, that says right here in the Bible on the third day. So some of these plants... And flowers and everything else, they're medicine. They're uh, medicine. They can use as medicines, um, natural medicines, uh, nature medicines that can heal us when we're sick or, um, or anything, you know. Some of these plants and flowers, they're beneficial for us. <clears throat> and trees, because we eat out of all, all this. We eat out of all of that, and on top of that, it's it's uh it's like medicine. It's also like medicine. So you see, um, God is is true. He's you know when he told um Eve not to eat out of that fruit, cause uh I should go to that um Bible um verse. It's somewhere around here, but you see um when Eve. I mean, when God told Eve um, not not to eat, when he told them not to eat out of that, that fruit tree, that tree, I don't know if it was a fruit tree. Um, you see, it's funny because um, nobody knows the fruit, what it was, what kind of a fruit it was. Maybe it disappeared now. And if we knew about that fruit, um, the one that Adam and Eve ate, we will probably ban that fruit. We will be hating that fruit. You see, and and um. So, um, so my thoughts on this is: God said, "Do not eat, because you will know good and evil." So you see, good is God, evil is Satan. So you see, so right there, he was just saying that. He was saying that you will know good and evil. Okay. So Satan came around um, to tempt Eve. Um, so you see good and evil. You see, you have two right there. Two different uh, peop uh, persons that represent as such. God represents good. Um, Satan represents evil. So, when they were, when she was deceived by the snake, the serpent, the dragon, Lucifer, whatever names there is to call um, Satan, um, he was in the, from the beginning, he was a, murder, a murderer, according to John 8, 44, I think that's what it says. You see, this guy, this guy, um, um, evil. He was introduced, evil was introduced to Eve, Satan, you see, 
God said it before time. And if you think, you see all these plants, all these plants, all these flowers and everything else, they're medicines. Because God knew we were going to fail um, and we're going to get sick and die and everything. He knew way beforehand, um, way before. He already knew that by him saying good and evil, he knew that that someone's going to represent evil. Um, so beforehand, um, he already meditated on all this. Um, God is the creator. I mean, he knows before and after, future, everything. He knows everything. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to like think like, like him, but that's impossible too, to think like God because that's, that's, that's impossible. But he can shed light on me, a little bit of light to understand all these things. To try to understand all these things. Um, but not just me. He gives light to others. Um, so I'm trying to understand this. Because he already made the plants. Um, uh, Satan, the, the serpent in the garden. Trying to deceive Eve. Trying to uh, say that. Did God really say it? Not to eat from that tree? And this and that. So basically, he was manipulating them, um, killing them by their by his uh, tactful, um, manipulative um, schemes and crafty um, stuff. Because he's a master of the lie. Um, he uh, he's a deception. Um, he's very skilled in deception. Um, and all as you can see in the Garden of, of Eden, he said that they will not die if they eat out of that fruit. They will not die. If you look today, many people fight over this, and they say that Satan didn't lie. You see, where's Adam and Eve then? You know, if he, Satan didn't die, I mean, it's... If Adam and Eve didn't die, where's Adam and Eve right now? You know, he they were deceived. This guy killed them, meditated on 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 this, on this, so they could die, so they could disobey. Um, it was gonna happen. It looks like it was gonna happen because us, we humans, we are stubborn. We don't listen. We fall short. Um, we are not always um i mean we fall short period and we disobey um, um we do whatever we please and when we want to um um so you see that's why i mean sin came, came into the world um satan deceived eve um we see god already had a plan Way before even Satan got to that tree and tried to deceive Eve and, and Adam. You see, he already made the plans. That's what I'm trying to say. Plans for medicines, flowers for medicines, for food, and everything else. All those things will serve as as for us, you see, because he's giving it to us. Because he knew we are going to fall short. Um, so God, before he made creation... Uh, I mean, he's God. I mean, he knows everything. I think he he probably, I don't know if he ever, if he thought about making the world and, and what was going to happen and all that. I mean, I, I don't know his thoughts. But, yeah, you see, um, so this, this serpent, um, which represents evil, um, Satan, the devil, you see, God, I, I don't know if you're understanding me, but you see, good and evil. So when they met the, the, the serpent, they were meeting evil right there, you see. So they dis, uh, she disobeyed, gave fruit to her husband. And, and 
I don't think it was a, a shocking to God, but God on his uh terms he got into the he got into the level of a human and showed them that he was upset. But God already knew, knew way beforehand what was going to happen. See, so God gets on our level, knowing future, past, and everything else. So you could try to still try to live a good life and try to understand things. And you see, he, he tries to get on our level sometimes. Like, you know, he even um, made them clothes for them. I think he did. Uh, fake leaves or to cover because they were they felt ashamed um so this is really really something um um so knowing good and evil you see god gave us all these things all this beautiful stuff and evil came and deceived them you see, so someone's responsible for that, and, and I, you know, see, so I don't know, but I don't, I, I, I'm trying to understand why God made Satan, um, according to Ezekiel twenty-eight, <clears throat> that he was in the Garden of Eden, um, uh, that he that he had precious stones, he was a special angel special you know very special angel he made him so special with beauty and everything and you see um he made him different than all the other angels and until there was found iniquity on that angel you see all the angels um this one, this one, um, was different. Um, so, I'm trying to understand why he put all that beauty on him. Like, all that beauty, all those stones, everything. Everything that, that he, he had. Um, so I don't think he has that anymore. Um, but yeah, um, you see, um, there's been, um, many arguments about this, about, um, how you say it, um, that Satan didn't lie. <clears throat> and like I said, where's Adam and Eve now, you see, but I'm still thinking that hap those were the first the first humans on earth so it was it was, i think it was destined to happen um but you see the one that <clears throat> that came and deceived um it was satan he put his his fork his spoon in the in in in, in it so sin could come and and, and so we could die and everything else and have trouble and everything. Um, so I'm thinking um, it it was gonna happen. It was it was it was it's des it was destined to happen, destined to happen. Cause if they wouldn't fail, if they wouldn't, if if Adam and Eve wouldn't fail and wouldn't eat out of that tree, um, I'm thinking. The earth would have got filled with people, population, others, others would have um, fallen short and probably would have ate out of that tree or I don't know, or, or like, like Abel and Cain, probably arguments, kill one another. There was going to be something, um, sin was going to enter, Is sin was going to enter um and God said that he found iniquity on that cherub cherub so it was destined to happen I, I that's that's what I think um why but why would Satan being so beautiful having everything 
precious stones, walking on fire. Um, I don't know how they say, how the Bible says so, says so. And Ezekiel 28, I think in Isaiah 14 also, it, it says something. Um, so, you see, God beforehand, beforehand he knew evil <clears throat> when he created um, you see, um, and look at the plants, the plants, um, medicine and food for us. So this man, whoever it is, God, <laughs> he's very equipped. He knows before and after. Um, and yeah, that's, that's all I have for now. All right.